Hello my crafty friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be highlighting some 4th of July cards with the Echo Park paper Independence Day. I had several sheets of this left so I thought I would try to use as much as I could and I made six cards. Here are the items I used. I got this all over stamp, cling stamp at a rummage sale, I think. So anyway, it's got all the different Let Freedom Ring, Stars and Stripes Forever, I Love the USA, etc, etc. And so that made, I, I used that on a few cards. And then I had red ink and then this tulip red. It's kind of an orangey red, which didn't go really well. So I did pull out the red, just plain red. And then I also used Knight of Navy. And I used this. These are Tim Holtz stamps. I used Just Celebrate for the inside because I don't have anything that says Happy Independence Day or Happy Fourth of July. And then last but not least... I used a combination of my Biggs die, which is stars, and then this small, smaller star punch. Okay, let's get started. My first card I made with two pieces of background paper and then I went ahead and stamped it and cut it down and I layered these off and then I cut these out with my biggest die. It makes three different sizes and I pop them up on mini dimensionals. And then let's just celebrate and with another star in the inside. And then here's Happy Independence Day. These are the cut aparts that I had left. And I also incorporated silver. So I have a silver star here. And just celebrate with another star in the corner. USA with blue stripe in the background. And then three stars. Silver and blue made with the smaller punch. And then this one made with the biggest die. Just celebrate with the star. And this one, I tried to find a dark, dark blue, but I didn't have one. And if you'll notice, I went ahead and did the stars with my Wink of Stella. Does anybody remember the last time we hit eight states? <laughs> I thought that was really cute. And this paper is USA. It says USA all over. And again, just celebrate with the star. And here is an all over star pattern again with this. And I set it off. I tried to. It kind of gets lost. I probably should have used just a solid piece of cardstock. But this is the all over stamp again. And these are popped up on foam tape and the star. And last but not least, who can forget the Pledge of Allegiance? So I offset that a little bit on this all over stripe. Pop this up on dimensionals and then just celebrate. Red star on the outside. Okay, I made six cards. I do have plenty left over. I could make several more. I hope you have a wonderful Independence Day. And thank you for joining me. See you soon. Bye-bye.